Do you snore really loudly at night? And are you also waking up multiple times to urinate? Well, guess what? They might be more related than you ever thought. I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're gonna talk about how a condition called obstructive sleep apnea can impact your bladder function. At the end, I'm gonna let you know what you can do to help yourself stop waking up at night so you can improve your ability to get some well-deserved rest. Also, I have some interesting personal news, which I'll be sharing also at the end of the video. If you're interested, stick around to find out. To start off, let's go over what obstructive sleep apnea is. Sleep apnea is essentially a sleep disorder where a person experiences pauses in breathing or shallow breaths during sleep. Now these events usually last for at least 10 seconds between breaths and actually reduce the amount of breath you're taking in. These are often followed by brief awakenings that last at least three seconds. Now these interruptions can happen multiple times throughout the night and can really disrupt your normal sleep cycle. You might might actually have sleep apnea if you've been told you snore loudly or you feel exhausted all day long or sometimes you'll even wake up with headaches in the morning. Also if you have kind of generally a very large neck circumference that's a sign that you very likely have sleep apnea. Now sleep apnea is the most common breathing related sleep disorder and it affects approximately 15 to 30 percent of men and 10 to 15 percent of women in North America. Now this is a serious condition because it's a risk factor for a lot lot of really serious problems like high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke. And studies have even shown a three times higher risk of death associated with having sleep apnea. So if you have these symptoms but you don't have any urinary issues, I still encourage you to see your doctor to get a sleep study and get treated if you are suffering with sleep apnea. Now studies have shown that sleep apnea can also have an impact on bladder function, particularly waking up at night to urinate frequently. Now, one of the prevailing theories as to why this happens is that when there is a blockage or obstruction in the airways during sleep, it creates a negative pressure in the chest and it makes the body work harder to breathe. So now the body's working harder and it sends a signal to the heart that there's too much fluid in the body. In response, the body says, hey, I'm going to release some different signals called atrial natriuretic peptide and it also inhibits the secretion of antidiuretic hormones hormone and aldosterone, which can lead to increased urine production and ultimately the need to wake up more often at night to empty your bladder. So the disease state itself also causes reduced oxygenation throughout the night because you're not breathing for a certain period throughout the night. And this can actually prevent the reabsorption of sodium in the kidney. I mean, there's more sodium in the urine, which causes more water to be drawn into the urine, making more urine volume. Now, waking up at night to urinate might just seem like a huge bother. But in reality, it's a serious problem. That's because we know that particularly in older patients who wake up two or more times at night, there is a significantly higher risk of falls and hip fractures. And that is not a small issue. I've seen so many patients in the hospital after a fall and they're there for long periods of time and it takes them a long time to recover. So even though the nighttime urination is a problem, there's also been some small studies that suggest, particularly with severe sleep apnea, they can also affect daytime symptoms, meaning that you'll have more urgency, more urgency incontinence, and more frequency, meaning you're going to the bathroom more often and you're getting this urge to go that you can't delay. Now here's the kicker. Treating your obstructive sleep apnea with a CPAP machine or a machine you wear at night that helps reduce those episodes where you reduce your breathing can significantly improve your urinary symptoms. And it does this by decreasing the amount of urine production overnight. And that makes sense because the hormonal changes that would normally cause you to make more urine are getting reversed, allowing your body to concentrate urine better overnight and then reduce the amount you're making and wake up less. So if you've got symptoms of sleep apnea and you're waking up at night to urinate, don't wait. Go see your doctor right away, get evaluated, because not only might you improve your quality of life in terms of sleeping at night with better sleep, but you might also improve your overall health so you're at a lower risk of things like heart disease and high blood pressure. So I promise you guys an update. This is actually the last video you're gonna see of me in this background because I am moving to Southern California where I will be seeing patients in my own practice as well 
well as at the Veterans Hospital. So I know many of you often ask to see me or ask questions. I will be also offering educational visits and I will be seeing patients virtually as well as in person. I will be starting off virtually and I'll be seeing patients from Maryland, New York, Texas, California, Virginia, and New Jersey, and maybe Illinois. We're still waiting on that one. <laughs> so if you want to see me, feel free to schedule an appointment and I look forward to meeting you. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy my video on how stroke affects your bladder. And as always, if you've liked my content, please be sure to subscribe and share this channel with your friends. And as always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.